Hello! It's the Pageant Nerd here with the next installment of my Miss Universe 2020 preview series, The Contestant and Country Profiles. Today I'm looking at one of Miss Universe's most successful nations in recent decades, albeit a little less so recently. True, their results have not quite been up to their standard of the 1990s and 2000s, but many pageant watchers, myself included, think their current bet has what it takes to win it all. Namaste. The first country is Miss India. India was a consistent leading contender at Miss Universe from 1990 to 2007 placing 15 times in that 18-year period. Their truly golden age in international pageantry spanned the years 1994 to 2000, bookended by spectacular success on the biggest stages, not only winning Miss Universe in those two years, but also the Miss World titles, the only country in history to have scored two such double crowns. I cover that in more detail in another Pageant Nerd video, link is in the corner. Indeed, over that seven year span, India won an incredible four Miss World crowns of its six all time. And while Sushmita Sen's and Lara Dutta's wins at Miss Universe are the only two for India in that pageant thus far, they were nonetheless two of the most memorable winners in the pageant's nearly seven decades of existence. I think being a woman by itself, the very fact that you're a woman is a gift of God, which all of us must appreciate. The origin of a child is a mother and is a woman. And a woman is the one who shares love and who shares and shows a man what love, caring, sharing is all about. That is the sense of a woman. I think pageants like the Miss Universe pageant gives us young women a platform to foray into the fields that we want to and forge ahead, be it entrepreneurship, be it the armed forces, be it politics. It gives us a platform to voice our choices and opinions and makes us strong independent that we are today. Thank you. India has the fourth longest placement streak in Miss Universe history, with 11 consecutive between 1992 and 2002. In addition to Sen's and Dutta's titles, there was a first runner-up finish for Manpreet Brar in 1995, narrowly missing a back-to-back -back with Sen, and another two top fives, Madhusa Pri in 1992 and Selena Jaitley in 2001. Namrata Shirodkar placed top six in 1993, and there were five other top 10 finishes. In the 1990s and early 2000s, India's delegates, selected from the all-conquering Feminist India contest, stood out with their unrivaled eloquence and intelligent, dare I say, non-pageant answers, as well as their beauty. If I could change the past, I would love to go back to the day when our uh, late Mrs. Prime Minister, Mrs. Indira Gandhi was assassinated and she was killed. I would give the women in my country the ability and the right to choose the right to choose their lives, the right to choose what they want to do in their lives. And only then will there be individuals, and not just mothers, daughters or wives, but individuals, thinking, living individuals. The biggest injustice in the world today is to bring a child into the world and not even be able to offer him or her peace. What can you do in Mexico that you would get in trouble doing in India? drive on the right hand side of the road <laughs> but then the level of pageant training in other countries saw the likes of Puerto Rico Japan Mexico and more recently Colombia the Philippines and South Africa match and then surpass that of India in terms of preparedness especially when it came to the all-important Q&A rounds after 2002 there were placements in 2004, 6 and 7. But 2008 and 2009 were the first consecutive non-placements for India in 20 years. 
The following year saw Sushmita Sen acquire the Miss Universe franchise rights in India, and her I Am She competition sent delegates to three consecutive pageants from 2010 to 2012. That final year, 2012, was the start of a three-year run of placements, during which time Femina regained the Miss Universe franchise and selected India's delegate via the Miss Diva contest from 2013 to the present day. The other former Indian Miss Universe, Lara Dutta, is a mentor for Miss Diva, last year helping the stunning Vartika Singh, a former second runner-up at Miss Grand International, make the top 20. This will be India's 57th Miss Universe campaign in the 69th edition of the pageant. Amongst 23 placements overall, there are two-time winner, as mentioned already, with four other top six placements. Which brings us to 2020. Well, actually 2021, by the time the COVID-delayed Miss Universe is staged, rumoured to be in the US in February. That will be roughly a full year after Adeline Castellino was crowned Miss Diva Universe on February 22, 2020. Aside from Vartika Singh's top 20 placement in 2019, India has struggled to be noticed at Miss Universe in the IMG era, in which a strong philanthropic focus is necessary to make a mark. But India's fortunes might well change very soon. Adeline Castellino has been an advocate for LGBTQ inclusivity and women's rights. But at Miss Diva, it was her confident and impactful speech about the welfare of Indian farmers that made the pageant world sit up and take notice. Because the future of this country lies in their hands. So if I win tonight, I want to use the resources to work on a national level so I can reach this idea to many more people because I believe we can truly change the fate of India one farmer at a time. Thank you. Born in Kuwait, with her family relocating to Mumbai when she was 15, Adeline Castellino is a professional model and will be 22 years old during her Miss Universe campaign. She has a degree in business administration. Can she mark Lara Dutta's 20-year anniversary with a third Miss Universe title for India? Quite possibly. Very active on social media, both in high fashion and grassroots community service, Adeline has given her fans, not only in India, but all over the world, the belief that she's the complete package to sweep all before her in the coming months. Right now, it's anyone's crown, and no doubt things will become even clearer as finals night rapidly approaches. That concludes my video on India's upcoming campaign at Miss Universe 2020. If you like this clip, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to receive alerts when I post a new clip. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with another Miss Universe country and contestant profile. But in the meantime, it's goodbye from the pageant nerd.